welcome back to my channel. It's been a minute. I uh, haven't filmed or uploaded a video in about two weeks. I was actually just talking with my husband Brian last night about how the, the creativity hasn't really been present. It hasn't really been there. Um, nothing has been coming up organically that I felt was worthwhile to share and I didn't want to fall into the thinking that like I had to produce something because this channel is ultimately for fun. It's supposed to be an outlet. It's supposed to be authentic. So I've just been really following that and then of course this morning I woke up and I was like, you know, I'm just kind of wanting to verbally process and there is a part of me that wants to process like what these last couple weeks have felt like and what they've been like and how I've been spending my time and so here I am filming a video um, if you're new here hello and welcome uh, like I said my name is Corey I am 36 years old and I'm living in Victoria BC Canada and yeah, as I mentioned in my last video, my spring cleaning video, I have taken a pause from Instagram. My decision to take a pause from Instagram really came from a place of feeling like completely overwhelmed. I was feeling like I had so much information coming at me and the way I was utilizing Instagram I fell into some pretty thick habits around my use. Um, oftentimes it was the first thing that I looked at in the morning and the last thing I looked up at before bed. I was focused on creating and wanting to be a part of this culture, this having this online presence, but I was really lacking a direction. I almost felt like I was just grasping, like constantly grasping at like, oh, is this inspiration? Is this something I should be paying attention to? Like, oh, is this where I want to spend more time? And not only was I not grounded in it, I was feeling like almost frantic, like frantically searching. And I was creating or I was I was carrying that energy with me even when I wasn't using the app directly. So sometimes my I would catch myself like really wound up in my head about what my purpose was on that platform. I think the hard truth is that I I need to come I be, need to become clearer in my purpose outside of any platform and just within myself before I can begin to feel grounded on such a fast paced platform like Instagram. So it's been just about three weeks since I've logged off and I have checked it a handful of times just to um, see if there was any messages, any correspondence because it was such an outlet uh, for communication with with so many people for so long so um, but to my surprise there has been like literally nothing going on on my like in my DMS or anything since since I've taken the break so um, that should tell me something I'm not really missing anything um, so yeah, and I wasn't really using Facebook very much anymore. Brian and I, my husband, we were using it to um, correspond on Messenger because he lives in Washington State and was an Android user, but he has since uh, switched to an iPhone, so I don't even really need Facebook in the same way that I that I was using it previously. So. It's been, it's been interesting. I have been spending a lot of time reading, a lot of time journaling. I've actually been able to like watch shows and movies and hold my attention. I watched the entire uh, season four of Love is Blind 
and I watched the series uh, called Beef on Netflix. And if you haven't watched it yet, it's only 10 episodes, but it was so good. I, I really enjoyed that. And Brian and I watched a movie this weekend. I was over um, in Port Townsend this weekend and we watched Soul. Uh, it's a Pixar movie on Disney Plus and we really enjoyed that as well. So it's been nice to kind of have my attention back and my focus back. I've really noticed that um, it's changing my relationship with my job. So it's interesting how like before I used to be trying to like squeeze my job in and around my social media presence. It led me to feeling resentful towards my job and I think that comes from a place of like, when I do something I wanna do well, and because I had this big distraction in my way, I was underperforming in my job and just feeling like I could kinda get by by doing like the bare minimum because my priority was like more towards my, my Instagram use and it's like really embarrassing to say that like I feel embarrassed but I I hope or imagine I don't hope I imagine this may resonate with someone and that I am not alone in this and that maybe this is helpful to someone um, hearing this and my job is not a job that I want to do half-assed I don't want to be squeezing it in I don't want to do the bare minimum. I work with a vulnerable population and I owe them my full attention, um, my, my focus. And so that's been hugely eye-opening. I have been feeling like so much more engaged with my work now that I'm actually giving it the time it requires and it's because I'm doing a better job <laughs> like that's really as simple like it's as simple as that like when I feel like I'm actually engaged and focused and and working on something um I have positive results so that's been really great I've also been able to put a lot more focus and attention into a personal project. I shared um, the this resource that I'm creating a few videos ago. Um, it's the I don't know resource. So my, my goal is to create a resource card deck um, that helps unpack the, the phrase I don't know. It's a phrase that I encounter a lot in my work working with youth. Um, but I was speaking with someone recently who works in a long-term care facility with seniors or, or people with, um, she didn't actually specify, but it could be, you know, people with Alzheimer's. Um, and so, yeah, she was saying that she encounters this a lot where um, people don't know. So, um, yeah, I've, I've sent the resource out to a few different people in my life for some editing and I am slowly integrating some of the feedback and I'm just, I am taking my time with it, but when I do put time into it, I'm like in the zone. Whereas before I was like checking my phone constantly and just really not putting my whole self into something that I actually want to achieve. Like this is, this is something that I really want to do. So yeah. And to kind of like pan out even further, like I've, I've cut Instagram out, but I've also just been going through like a process of like eliminating things that do not serve me. And I do feel like I've been shedding and shedding and shedding layers um, in, in all kinds of different ways. Like the other day I went through my phone and I deleted like a ton of contacts, people that I had saved in my phone for probably more than 10 years and I don't even know who they are. Just cleansing, like I was getting rid of unused apps on my phone. I um, 
have been really working on my my diet like in my gut health and my digestive health so I've been eliminating like food groups so I've now been uh, gluten and dairy free for just over two weeks and I've been uh, trying to like really decrease FODMAP so that mostly what that has been for me is like garlic, onion, apples, which I love and miss, um, beans, like things that um, have generally upset my stomach and made me pretty uncomfortable. Um, what else? Oh, another one was just like going through my photos in my phone. Man, like there are so many photos in my phone and I am now at the point where I'm like paying for more and more iCloud storage and um, some of them are like just so random. So like screenshots, I actually finally like consolidated some of my screenshots. So many of them were like podcast recommendations or book recommendations or recipes. And so I actually created notes in my phone that was like podcasts, books, recipes. Um, because that's a way more efficient way of like actually if I'm ever looking for a podcast I'm not gonna go through my thousands of photos in my phone I'm now just gonna go to the note for that specific purpose so yeah it's been it's been interesting to see the layers that I'm shedding and the different ways that I'm kind of decluttering my mind I think too like there's something to be said for the eliminating the gluten and the dairy I do think that that has had an impact on like brain fog and just like how I feel in my body and then how that then translates into how I um, perform whether that's like physically or mentally so I've been really aware that like I'm like shedding 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 and I wanted to reflect on the ways in which I'm like replenishing. So I do think that I was like, it, it, it's almost in my mind, it's like I was too full, I was like overflowing. Um, my brain was overflowing, my body was overflowing. It felt like just, yeah, like that, when I think about myself like in that state of like physical discomfort, uh, emotional burnout, and then just this like busy mind, I, I picture myself just like, inflating to a really um unrealistic unhealthy place and so i'm like releasing some of that pressure but i want to be really mindful that i'm not just eliminating like even just energetically i don't want to just be like oh i have to get rid of things like and to be afraid of of adding things and so I have been trying to add things in an intentional way. So um, the two things that are really top of my mind is uh, yoga and meditation. So I have like completely refound my commitment to my yoga practice. I decided to rejoin my yoga studio that I used to be like a regular at and I stopped going consistently with the pandemic. And right before like we went into lockdown, I was like, even volunteering at this studio. I was feeling very connected to this community. Um, I was also living in that neighborhood at the time. So um, when things reopened, um, I was a little bit uninspired by like the clunkiness of like uh, in studio and online and like, Sort of the unpredictability and then I also moved away from that neighborhood so all this to say I was like called to going back and I went to one class and I was like oh my god like I didn't even allow myself to like really realize how much I missed it and of course the price was a consideration but I am like, this is worth it to me. So it's like $120 for like an unlimited monthly membership, uh, $120 a month. And I am getting my money's worth, uh, absolutely no doubt in my mind. And there are things that I am willing to reconfigure so that I can stay connected to my practice. And I am going to a headstand or a, like a, 
it's like called get up in the air or get upside down uh, workshop on Saturday. So I'm feeling really, really pumped about that to just start to learn new things and deepen my practice. And I have started to meditate and this has been something that I've actually been really, I don't know, I've had an aversion to meditation. I think it's made me feel nervous. A lot of my hesitation towards like yoga and meditation also come to the fact that like I've had a lot of digestive discomfort for a long time, which has affected like my breathing and just this whole system has felt um, constricted and inflamed and just not happy. So as I work on my digestive health, it almost feels like I'm creating more space to allow for breath. And I've been trying to do just five minutes of meditation before bed. And I've also a couple of times done longer meditations in the morning. And I certainly haven't broke ground or, you know, come to any huge re rev revelations, but I am just so proud that I'm just taking some steps towards towards doing it, just doing it, just showing up. Yeah, so those are, I would say, are like the, the new, the newest things that I've been adding. Um, things that I'm staying really consistent with are running. I have a race coming up at the end of this month and then my half marathon is at the end of May. Um, so that's feeling really positive. I am reading, like I mentioned before, just like reading so many books. Right now I'm reading 50 Words for Rain by Asha Lemmy. Um, it's beautiful. It's set in Japan. Um, and it's it's pretty heartbreaking so far. But I, I'm like, I am had no problem getting into it. And I'm, yeah, I'm well on my way with that one. Um, I also just read The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, which was highly recommended. I really enjoyed it. I blew through that one really fast. Um, it was just so easy to get into and it, I, I guess I had heard it like recommended a lot of times, but I never actually like read a synopsis or, or knew what it was about. And so it really actually shocked me, which it's kind of fun. It's like when you go to a movie and you don't watch the trailer. Um, and then before that I was reading, um, Atomic Habits, which I, which I really did like, um, yeah, some good, good, good perspectives. Um, oh, and Brian and I, Brian was here last weekend for the Easter long weekend and we went and saw Air, the Air Jordan movie, which we really, really, really liked. So highly recommend that. Um, so yeah, it's been quiet. It's been quiet, but I feel this is exactly where I'm meant to be. Brian and I had a really good weekend together the last two weekends. Um, I was there this weekend and we just like cleaned his house. So his roommate moved out a couple weeks ago and like this is a pretty big, big time. I would say it's big for Brian in that he's really reclaiming that space and reconnecting with it. I think, you know, when you share a space his roommate had two daughters and so just by like sheer numbers they took up took up like a larger percentage of the space and um, I came into my relationship with Brian like in that setting and in that with that configuration of people so it's really interesting to go to his space and be like oh so all this stuff is yours and all that stuff that's missing was your roommates and just like re reacquainting myself to Brian, which was kind of cool. Like, oh, this is all you. When like he was living with a roommate, I didn't really know like what belonged to what, especially in the shared spaces. Um, so we, yeah, we got down and dirty, <laughs> cleaned a large percentage of that home. So it's also exciting for me because uh, that is where I hope to live with Brian and um, just 
putting some of my energy into the space and getting to know it on, on a different level felt really good. This week I have a busy work week and I am house sit or I'm dog sitting this weekend and then next week I'm house sitting, which is really great. Um, a little extra cash in my pocket. I'm just gonna keep on keeping on. I am still looking for different ways of building community. I am really excited to be back in the yoga community and to be participating in this workshop next weekend or this weekend um, I've put all of the surf ride or beach cleanup dates in my phone because I hope to be be a part of that community a little bit more than I have been lately um, trying to be a good friend and um, just show up and um, let my friends know that I'm thinking about them. I'm not always the best at texting. Um, so just trying to put a little bit more intention. My sister's also getting married this weekend. So I'm trying to show up for her and um, make sure she knows that her, her wedding and our relationship is a priority to me. I just bought my bridesmaids dress. So yeah, these are the updates. Just a little, a little glimpse, in, glimpse into how things are going and I've been thinking about this platform and this community and those of you who are, are tuning in, I really appreciate your support. So if you haven't already, I would love it if you gave this video a big thumbs up, if anything resonated with you and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I really do appreciate you being here and I'll catch you next time. Bye everybody. Have a great day.